Okay, hello, we're on to the second batch of questions here. So, uh, DM friend 25 being Dylan asked, how did I get into liking theatre? Uh, that was primarily due to the fact that I would always watch, as a very, very small child, I would always watch musical theatre, um, rather musical movies. And uh, then I saw my first theatrical show uh, when I was about seven, and it was Carousel, which was my favourite musical. And I realised that I really wanted to be on stage performing and doing that sort of material, so that was really what got me into it. And I saw kids my age wearing gorgeous costumes and getting to sing and dance, and I thought that's that's brilliant. And I already knew that I wanted, like, my goal was to be in film, because I wanted to be Shirley Temple, but that was probably the turning point when I realised that equally I would love to be on stage. Stage has kind of overtaken the f desire to be a movie star, but um, I mean, ideally if I could do both that would be fantastic. Um, yeah, to, to be able to do both mediums would be great. Um, do I act and if so, for how long? Um, yes, I do. Um, I began... It would have been, well, I was already doing gymnastics and dance and stuff when I was six, seven. I began drama classes when I was eight. So, and then that there were productions inherent with that one as well, because I was at a talent school, as they call them. So, yeah, it would have been eight. And I just continued, and I did it all through high school, and then through uni, and now through TAFE, <laughs> and outside of stuff as well, doing outside things. So... That's quite a while, and I couldn't be bothered adding that up. But yeah, essentially I began when I was 8, and I'm 24 now, so... However long that is, I'm lazy. Is that 16 years? Is it? It's quite a while. If it is, cool. Uh, how did I get into reading? That was just that, um... I mean, when I was very small, my parents would always read to my sister and I every night before we went to bed, and I loved stories, and obviously... I mean, loving film and loving musicals. I just loved the power of narrative and characters and, and where all that could go. So, uh, I mean, I just naturally went to books and read them myself when I was able to. And, yeah, and just very quickly discovered what kind of things I liked to read about and picked them up where I could and was in book clubs at school and getting books all the time and always in the library. So, yeah, it just, it just happened. Uh, Leanne, JC Ray, Jessie Ray, how's, how's it go, Leanne? I don't know. Anyway, um, I put your questions here because they kind of follow on from Dylan's. Because they're theatre questions! If you could get into the pants of any stage actor, whose pants would you venture into? Now, that's a bit of a loaded question there. Uh, we'll take the innocent route first. Uh, if I could be any stage actor... That's, oh, that's so evil, that question. Um, okay, who would I want to be, really? Hmm. If I could choose someone who's around about my own age, I'd like to be, I think I'd like to be Krista Rodriguez, um, because I love her, her singing voice is fantastic, and I think she has a lot of skill in, in acting as well. And she's currently playing Wednesday Adams in the Adams Family Musical and she was in Spring Awakening before that and in The Heights and I just I just really admire her and I think she's got quite a future ahead of her so I'd like to be her just to have the opportunities that she's been having and she's had great material to work with ideally if I could be anybody at all jeez oh, so, what a mean question um anyone at all uh, Gavin Creel. I'd want to be Gavin Creel. If I could be a guy, I'd be him. Because he's had great roles, and I love his voice, and I love his... I just love him. He'd also probably be... I mean, there's a long line of people whose pants I would really like to get into, but, of course, they... And this isn't a generalisation, they really do, all of them, fancy guys. So if I could turn into Gavin Creel have his career and be able to date all the other guys that I like, it'd be a win-win and everything would be perfect. So yeah, I would like to really be Gavin Creel and then I could get into the pants of all the other cool people. So yeah, that's how I'd roll. 
If I could prevent any show from closing on Broadway that's about to close, what would it be? I would probably say um, Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. I, I mean, I've only watched stuff on YouTube, obviously. I haven't flown over and seen it. But it looks really cool and people have been responding to it so favourably and everyone's been really passionate about it and it's developed such a following and I'm sure that everyone's very upset that it's closing. So I think, and it seems quite an innovative show and really interesting. So I think it's a shame that it's closing. Um, and yeah, just, I mean, I, I like knowing that like original material has like long runs. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a pity. But then, I mean, honestly, if I could go back and like prevent so many shows from closing, I would have. I think that, I mean, Spring Awakening had a pretty long run, so I, it probably closed at, at a good time, I suppose. Uh, but certainly title of show deserved much, much longer than it got. And that was really upsetting when that when that closed. I mean, it was a terrible economic climate for all of the shows and everything was shutting down, but, um, I mean, of all of them, that was, that was the one that really got me, and I was so, to use a Gilmore Girls word, I was smad. I was mad and I was sad when that closed. If I could bring any musical to Australia, what would it be? It would be so many, there would be so many I would bring here. Um, I would make sure the Lights of the Piazza got a proper theatrical run, so that would certainly come here. I would get... Hmm... What would I really, really want? Well, Piazza's the one that really stands out, so I mean, before anything else could, could come here, that I'd want Piazza. Next to normal, I'd like if that could have a run here. But Piazza first and foremost. I really want that to, to get its, its dues over here. If I could play any role, what would it be? Um, uh, also, David from uh, DBP Reviews, is that what it is? Your username always escapes me, David. But anyway, you asked the same question. Um, if I could play any role in a musical, what would it be? Uh, I'd, uh, for about three years, had honestly had the goal of wanting to be the character of Marta in Spring Awakening, and then I went and went to the auditions for the Australian production, and I didn't get the role, but um, a girl that I knew and am quite friendly with, she, she got it and she did a fantastic job. Um, so that was very upsetting. <laughs> uh, but I mean, at least I went and I had a go, and I, I was happy that, you know, that I gave it a shot and I didn't just sit back and think, if only I'd tried. Uh, so that was my dream role. But I think if I, if honestly, if I could realistically play anything, it would probably be Fosca in Stephen Sondheim's Passion. Because, unfortunately, it's a role that I'm quite suited to. And that's not complimentary because it's quite a, she's quite a not very likable character, even though she's the protagonist. So, um, yeah, I think, I actually do think I'd be an okay Fosca. Um, look up the musical and you'll see why I'm making this face. But, uh... I mean, it's really, it's really good material, and the songs are gorgeous, and, I mean, it's very emotionally substantial stuff. It's, it's meaty. It's a really meaty part, so, yeah, it's probably, it's probably something I'd like to play. Uh, so those are those ones for now, and I'll do some more questions soon.